everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to teach you uh, about shortcut so which is a open source and free uh, video editor it's a cross platform uh, where you need to go you have to type uh, shortcut.org so that's the url where you can find all those details and uh, as you, uh, once you type you'll see all this uh, uh, pretty link right so uh, as i mentioned it's a short it's a open source and free and yeah it's a cross cross platform video editor so what uh, that means, like you can uh, use this video editor uh, either on Mac or Linux or Windows, right? So uh, whatever operating system you are using, you could use this uh, uh, this editor, right? So uh, to download this, uh, where you need to go, you have to click on download link. Then yeah, uh, this is the current version. So all this tutorial would be based on this uh, latest version right so i'll be making a further video so in this video i'm going to show you uh, how you could download and what all, all uh, uh, what all you will get in the ui for for this to, uh, tool right so if you go on this current version here uh, if you are using windows uh, uh, these are two bits are available one is installer and uh, another bit is uh, zip version right so either uh, you can use if you are using mac uh, you could download from here or if you are using, using uh, linux uh, you could click here and then find out all this star file and install this right so uh, all these uh, uh, commands i mentioned over here as well right so I normally prefer this uh, zip version because it's uh, it doesn't require a uh, installation. So if you want, you can download from here, and it would be start downloading. You have right, so uh, that would be downloading, uh, and it would be in download folder. But what I I normally prefer this one, uh, the zip bit. Right, so if you click here, it would be downloading as a portable GIF format. Okay, let me quickly show you all these features. If you go on the shortcut.org uh, website, uh, you will see all these features listed here. So yeah, as, as I explained, this is a uh, uh, open source and yeah, uh, cross platform. So either you can use a Mac, Linux. Other than that, uh, there are wide format support features as well. So it support 4K. Uh, there are lots of audio features you could do. And yeah, it's, it's doing a compressor, copy channels, or delay, and all those bits it can, it can do very effectively. Uh, there are lots of video effects as well. So yeah, I'll be explaining in my further tutorials. So do subscribe the channel and yeah, you'll get notified for all those uh, tutorials. I'll be showing you with this uh, the latest version uh, that's uh, uh, released I think last month. So uh, yeah, so let's see quickly. Okay, so I have extracted uh, this chip file here. So if you go here, you can rename, uh, you can put uh, whatever name you prefer. And if you go into this uh, shortcut folder, uh, there would be application file. So if you uh, search with the shortcut, you have to click here. And yeah, it would take some time uh, loading plugins. Uh, so uh, when once you first loading, it it may take some time, right? So it's opening here, right? So yeah, it would be having kind of uh, this UI uh, where what you would see uh, that's a similar beta file, like uh, it's, a, it's a normal bit where you you can open your all those video files and uh, you can save as and also we'll see later so in edit you have the similar function for windows like uh, you can undo control z control y all these options you can use in the view you have lots of say layout you can use uh, whatever layout whatever you want uh, as a layout you will use that and yeah uh, if you don't want uh, then yeah you can uh, do the restore uh, default layout right so if you for example if you if you want to play this project it would be showing you like this layout uh, but yeah if you if you don't want and yeah still stick on the uh, default layout you could anytime you could do this like this way and yeah it will be uh, uh, the same which uh, would be as earlier right so that's a lots of view settings so whatever you want to be these are the shortcuts so uh, for the properties the center playlist the timeline i'll i'll tell you what all these are so uh, you could uh, use the shortcuts uh, and uh, or uh, if you want to click you can click here and that would be show, uh, showing you all the bits so if you if you uh, click on timeline yeah i uh, see uh, all these uh, bits you're showing here right so let me go on this uh, restart sorry uh, restore default layout all right so 
if you go on the settings, uh, there are lots of settings over here. So uh, here you, you would see all those video board, audio channels. You can see mono stereo, stereo, and there in the player you will see all these preview scaling. Here you can see a language. You could change your language. So if you want uh, some other language, you can uh, you can do that. And yeah, each time you do the language change, it would require a restart, right? So uh, whatever preferred your preferred language, you can do the lots of there Chinese, uh, Dutch, and yeah. So mine is a uh, Great Britain English one. So I have just preferred. If you can change the theme as well, so if you want. Uh, I prefer this dark bit because yeah, it's, it's good for eyes. And if you want, you can do uh, this light theme as well. So some prefer some uh, people prefer this light one, but yeah, uh, whatever you uh, need and whatever you think that is good for you, you can prefer that, right? So that's a bit. You don't need to uh, remember all these because yeah, uh, I'll be explaining. Uh, so once you get uh, used to this one. Uh, you might not be using all these options. You might be doing a basic editing or uh, even if you are doing the advanced thing, uh, yeah, you will gradually uh, uh, learn all those bits, right? Okay, so uh, very first when you would be opening, it would be creating like uh, coming over here, like new project. So if you want, you can uh, put the name and uh, to say start. Once you do the start, it will be coming like this one, right? So now what you need to do, you need to open your file. So just to make sure there's no import kind of thing. So let me open one file and show it to you, right? So once I open one file, this would be just showing me message, right? Uh, you could add uh, your file in playlist. And uh, so here, uh, this is the timeline, right? So uh, you just open and yeah, you could uh, do the changes. You can mute the video, whatever you want. So if you add, you, you need to simply drag uh, this file into the timeline, right? So once you drag it here, uh, what it would be doing, uh, uh, it would be creating a video track. So V1, that means uh, video, and uh, this is track one, right? So uh, you can, if you want, you can uh, small it. Uh, you can uh, zoom, or if you need to say working on a few parts, you can zoom in or zoom out. Anytime, uh, if you want, you can, uh, if you have, say, more than one track, you can uh, drag it up and down, right? So that, that's what you can do. Drag this, right? So, okay, I put it here. You need to drag in the playlist. And then you have to drag it here, right? Okay, so here it is now. Right, so whatever you are... Uh, showing as here that's uh, you can remove or replace so yeah if you if you click it now and uh, this also uh, because this is uh, coming as a black space uh, kind of so you can remove this now if you uh, run here it would be showing you uh, this complete video right and uh, let me forward it here so it so here also it would be showing all this progress so if you click up to here and uh, it would be starting a new video so yeah kind of you merged all these two videos with with uh, with the one timeline so if you if you extract this one uh, you would have uh, these two videos uh, uh, in, in a single one right so let me quickly show you uh, the animation part and uh, so best thing so if you drag this video over there and uh, right so this uh, cross sign would be showing the animation so if we if we run if, if i run it from here uh, let me show you right so you will see and this video is going and this video is coming now right so here it is right so this is kind of animation video uh anytime if you want this less one uh, you can drag it here or extract it right so that's what you can do if you uh, if you need to do a more animation, you can apply filter. I'll be showing you in, in uh, my next tutorial uh, what all of these filters and what you can apply. So I hope it would be clear uh, like how you could install a uh, uh, shortcut and uh, how you could start doing. So once you, uh, let me finally show, if you want to export video, you have to click here and then yeah, it would be showing you export file. Uh, once you do this, it would be it would be asking you what files if you put this name and uh, here it would be showing all these jobs where it would be showing all this progress, right? So uh, anytime all these things you can uh, 
drag right so it will change to 12 30 percent yeah once once it's all done it would be having 100 percent so yeah i think uh, that would be pretty clear so stay tuned and do subscribe the channel for all uh, uh video updates on this tutorial thanks for watching bye